Hi everyone, this is Marcia from Our Vintage Store. I am here today with an update to some of the pieces that we've already gone through um, from previous jewelry drawers. I, I believe I did say in one of the videos that we were expecting, or if I didn't, it was in a comment, we were expecting a metal test kit. So that includes the, uh, the golds and the silver. Well, we did get that Tuesday. And last night, we did do a test on some of these pieces that were marked sterling and 925. Um, this is what we got. It came with um, actually, it's supposed to come with six, so it has six pictured here. I'll have to check that, see if we were cheated one, because we did get the silver, which I used last night. You get the 10 carat, the testing for 14 carat, 18 carat, and 22 carat. And this booklet shows um, a bottle for platinum testing, but that is not here, so um, I'm not sure. I have to double check our order and see if it's something that we were supposed to get and didn't and should check into. But anyway, um, I wanted to let you know the results of the testing that we did last night. And here are all the pieces that I tested. And um, I... Um, I was surprised by a couple of the pieces, um, but I know a lot of you already are familiar with this, but you take a piece of the material, the silver, and you scratch it onto this little pad, then you put a drop of this on there, and if it turns red, it has a silver content in it, either 925 or 999 or whatever. It is silver. If it doesn't react, then it is not silver, so I'm going to let you know what we found out. This I pulled out of the last, the vase, the jewelry jar that I did a couple days ago. This is marked 925 Italy, and it is sterling silver. It did come up red on the test, so very happy with that. I thought it was, um, and I'm, I'm pleased to say that it is, but I'd gotten a couple comments from people saying that they've not had, or they've had some bad luck with um, pieces that were marked 925 Italy turning out to be fake. So I'm glad that is not the case with this. So one good find, yes. There was a charm bracelet in a few jars back. Again, the clasp or the um, lobster claw was marked 925. Happy to say it also is sterling. It did test positive for the sterling content. The liquid silver, again, says sterling. It is. It tested positive for the sterling. So we are doing good with the bracelets. This also, I think, was in the last jar. Even though it is a gold color, the clasp was marked 925. So it must be a, um, a plate, a gold plate. We, we took it down and the piece that we rubbed off, actually you can see the silver underneath and it does test positive. It is definitely sterling silver or it has silver content in it. So because the, um, the swatch that we did uh, reacted and turned red. So also, this is all good. This is all good. This piece that I was actually considering just throwing out early on, <laughs> um, haven't done anything with it, but tested, um, I'm not sure which one, but uh, one of the, the balls we tested, and it also showed up as sterling, so that is good. Um, a while back also, we got the um, Black Hills gold silver earrings and I tested uh, I scratched on the back of the earring and they are sterling 
So they are the real thing. So that is good. This single earring that we had in one of the early drawers, um, it is marked, and I don't have my, I think it's marked 925, not sterling, but it's marked 925. Um, it is 925. It is sterling. So, so far so good. I mean, we're doing okay with these pieces being marked. Um, I should say these pieces being what they are marked, um, being silver. This, this little, um, ring part of a uh, toggle clasp is marked 925 and it is so that's good um, this little flower pendant that we pulled out of one of the jars it is marked 925 and it is very good um, this earring that is 925 it is um, somewhere on there I think it, it's marked 925 or I know a couple of, some of these were not marked, but they look like they could be, so I tested them. So this is the the post, the not the post, the um, the setting, which I'm assuming the, the post is part of it. So, yes, 925. Um, this earring. And I believe it is marked 925, but I tested both the earring and the rings. They are 925. So we are doing good. We're doing really good. This, I believe I did a little update on this um, in one of my videos where I found these earrings and the post was missing from this one, but this post had 925 written on it. So I tested them. They are silver. So that is good. Um, we had this cross earring. Both pieces were marked 925. Tested both, both pieces, and yes, they are 925. So this is very good. Oh, that goes with that. Um, this, I'm not sure that I, that I um, mentioned it when I brought it out of the jar, but this, I'm assuming it's a toe ring. It's marked 925 on the inside, and I tested the edge, and it did react, so that is a um, sterling silver toe ring. Um, this last, I think this came out of this last jar. This, I said it was tarnished and it looked like it could be silver. Uh, we did a test on this one too. And this bezel, this um, setting is indeed sterling silver. And these guys, they are not marked. They are not marked. But they did look like silver to me. And I said they could be handmade and apparently they, I think they are handmade, very artisan looking. Um, but these do test silver. So, very good on that one too. And I don't recall which drawer it was. I think it was a couple back. Um, I pulled out a pair of hoop earrings. Okay, thought nothing special. At first I thought they were just a, a dark, maybe a gunmetal. Nothing. But something didn't look like it was just nothing to me. So I polished one of them up. Big difference, right? So no markings on them. But since it polished up so nice, I thought it could be silver. So tested it. And yes, they are silver. So everything that is here that was marked, either Sterling or 925, turns out to be the real thing. This is a good thing. Here was a ring. Wasn't sure about its silver color. Had a little bit of darkness to it, so I thought, well, could be tarnish. Not silver. 
that one, this one had no reaction whatsoever. So it could be, um, could be stainless steel, could be nickel. I, I don't know, but there was, it stayed dark. There was no reaction to this. So this is not silver color, but not sterling silver. This piece, and I think I, d I did an update about this one too. This little M. The bail, and oh, that's the bail, uh, the ring, the little jump ring. It says 925. It is stamped 925. But it is magnetic. So we tested both the ring and the pendant, the initial. The ring does test positive for sterling silver. So that is stamped correctly. However, this is not silver. It had no reaction whatsoever. So, um, I guess technically they have the ring marked 925, and it is. But it is very misleading because when you buy something that is marked, especially on um, a clasp, a ring, um, any part of it, if it says 925, you are assuming that the whole thing is sterling silver. But it, it's not the case here. So um, that's, that's not a good practice, but I hear it happens. So uh, anyway, this piece will be not going any further than my hands. This, this, I will not try to pass this off as sterling silver to anyone else. That is for sure. But that is that. So um, I'm surprised, uh, since it was magnetic, I'm not surprised that the M wasn't sterling. But maybe the magnet was just kind of catching a part of part of the M as it was uh, catching the ring as well. So I am a little surprised that the ring is sterling silver. But and that's that. And this one. This one I'm really disappointed about. Um, this said 925 on the back. And it is very, very shiny. But it was funny. When I was testing, when I was rubbing it on the block, when I was rubbing it, it had a different feel altogether than any of these other pieces that I rubbed. It, it was just a smoother, um, a smoother feel altogether. And... Like I say, it was different than any of the other the pieces, and it did not react. So even though this is marked 925, which I thought was a good find because it was silver, it is not. So I'm a little disappointed in that. So again, this piece is going to stay with me. I will not try to pass this on as 925. Um, and shame on any of you that know different and try to do that. Um... But anyway, um, this next video I'd planned on doing the church hall, but um, since we'd gotten the kit and I did the testing, um, I thought I would share all of this um, with you guys, and then I will save the church hall for the next video. And I still am going to, I have a few pieces that say that they are gold, and I will be testing those, and I will be sharing those results with you guys as well. So uh, for now, just wanted to let you know, we did, in fact, get some silver. So, um, a good day. Happy about that. So, anyway, y'all take care, and I'll see you on the next video. And thanks again for watching. Thanks to all the subscribers, and um, see you with the jewelry on the next one. Bye.